Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Uh, last episode, we did a multimedia controller device with the help of a Leonardo. Uh, the goal for today was to do the same thing with a AT Mega 328 based device, uh, the, uh, the Uno, or in this case, the Duemi du 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 Lanova. Um, but I've been knee deep in uh, USB descriptors and hex and C files, and I haven't figured it out quite yet. I'm almost there, but not quite. So to keep things moving along, I thought today we're going to do, we're going to solder this little uh, board that makes it possible, along with a library that we're going to download to turn the AT Mega 328 into a hit device. So we're going to make a normal keyboard, not with a remote control keys, just a normal. We're not going to make a whole keyboard, but we're going to show the features that you can make a keyboard with just a AT Mega 328. So uh, I found this project in a book called Practical Arduino um, and I bought this many years ago basically mainly for this project so I'm happy that we're today going to check off another box on my to-do list. Um, they, they have a, quite a lot of information online as well so I'm going to to link to that so you can see all the schematics and stuff like that. So let's just get started then. So we begin by downloading the library. Uh, on this page www.practicalarduino.com slash project slash virtual dash USB dash keyboard. Uh, there you will find all the information about this project. Uh, there are many other projects out there now I see. Um, however I like uh, this page mainly because it's got a very good schematics for how to set it up. If you set it up like this there will be no problems. Uh, and as you saw in my introduction I, uh, I did a soldered prototyping board because the timing of the USB is very delicate and, and very uh, must be very precise so uh, just putting it in a, in a prototyping board didn't feel quite right so or actually I didn't get it to work so uh, after I soldered it there was no problem uh, so let's save this file here we're gonna need that for later let's just save it there. and so here in the source code we have uh, github, we have it there, and we have it on the playground. Uh, what we want, we want to go to resources to the google code for the USB for Arduino. And it's here, and um, for more information code.rancidbacon.com. So that's the actual, uh, actual the project log for this project. So, so we download the latest one, the USB for Arduino 005.zip. We got it there and we open it up. And we'll see in the libraries folder here we're not going to move, take all of this we're just going to take the library files so we have USB device, USB keyboard and USB stream uh, so we go into our documents we go into Arduino libraries and we download these here actually we just take the keyboard we don't need the other ones right now. There. So now if we open Arduino 
and we look in our examples that's the easiest way to see that it worked so we have a USB keyboard and USB keyboard demo one so here we have our components lined up on the table to go through how to connect it uh, a couple of things about the components we have two 68 ohms resistors this one is 2.2k this is a Zener diode that looks like that on a schematics a Zener diode like that these this is important the Zener diodes are 3.6 volts uh, 0 0.5 watts in this case and 0 0.25 watts will also work one watt will not work this is very important for this application you cannot use one watt or higher uh, Zener diodes so we begin by connecting the one of the 68 ohms resistors to digital plus D plus and the other 68 ohms to D minus D minus uh, also the 2.2k should be connected to D minus as well the one connected to D plus should then be connected to digital pin 2 like that uh, digital the 68 ohm connected to digital minus connected to pin D4 and finally the 2.2 K connected to pin 5 okay so the Zener diodes both the positive side of, of both Zener diodes should be connected to ground so we have ground here connected there and also connected there And this, of course, should be connected to ground on the Arduino. And let's also connect voltage to 5 volts. D plus. And finally, let's connect the other side of the diodes. One to digital plus and one to digital minus like that and this is the circuit and as you've seen in the top left corner you've probably seen my when I solder this in really really fast motion um, but if you use this layout of the components uh, it will work quite well to solder it as you've seen that I've done and also as you see here this is the same layout you have one diode on top one on the side three diodes there three pins and then because my board wasn't long enough I had to do this solution to get to the plus and minus on the Arduino so the finishing product on the Arduino looks like this with pin 2 three uh, two four five and plus and ground and you have your USB keyboard or USB head output on the side of the Arduino and you only need to have one USB uh, cable connected so you don't need to use this one when you use this one because the USB port uh, gives five volts and ground to the Arduino so to demo this, let's just open the examples file and we'll go through that quickly. USB keyboard, USB keyboard demo one. So we in 
include the USB keyboard .h, uh, and then we set a button pin. So just pin 12 in this case. And we do the setup. Here is, this is for, this is a special routine that you need to do to get the interrupt over the USB to work. Disable timer zero overflow interrupt, used for millis. So this is a piece of code that you need to have for the USB functionality to work. And the same with this. And all of this, this is a very well documented project. So you can find it all in the hex files, C files, in the, in the libraries folder for the USB keyboard very well documented. I recommend you read there. Uh, that is at the moment where I spend my time trying to figure out how to change the USB descriptors. So here we have USB keyboard update uh, and this one just f f quickly is flips the LED on pin 13. So we see that as long as it's shining or blinking really, really, really fast, uh, the, the loop is running. When it stops to, to blink, we know that something went wrong here. So when we press the button, we are going to USB keyboard.send keystroke. So we send a, a this is like a key press, I guess. A key H, key E, key L. So if you would have many buttons, button one, button two, button three, you would have one button would send an H, and one would send an E, one would send, a, send an L, and one would send an O, for example. So actually what this does, if you see it says hello, space bar, presses the space key, world so this is a hello world and then it does a short delay here and as long as this happens as long as the button is pressed it will, will just write hello world so let's see that in action and we connect it to ground and it starts printing the worlds. Great. So with this in our hands now we can make a keyboard if you want. We can make a controller for games and such. Uh, we can you can make a password locker with this. You saw uh, in that short demo I showed, we just printed hello world over and over. Same thing you can have, you press one button, it sends a whole password. So you have, it's not very safe because if you just open notepad and you put this in, you press the button and you will see what password you have. But it's, it's one way to make a password locker or anything else. For me though, I am going to continue uh, diving through the USB keyboard uh, folder and try to uh, get this to do the same as we did with the Leonardo last episode. So hopefully I can get back to you soon with that and hope you do something fun with this and let me know in the comments below. Take care. Bye. And as I always forget, subscribe.